everybody, we are live. And now let's double check whether you can actually hear me. That would be nice. Um, I don't see any comments here. Oh, yes, there are comments coming in. Yes, hello, Els. Hello, Laura. Uh, hi, Tineke. Um, Saskia is here. I was messing with my cameras, etc., but uh, I'm here now. So that's good. I'm looking at the comments. Femke is here. Ruth. Patricia, Marga, hello everybody, good to see you all, and thank you for spending this Wednesday evening together with me. Um, there should be sound, there is sound, that's good, Daniel's giving me a thumbs up, that means there is sound, so we're all ready to go. Thank you for joining me for a fun evening of crafting, because with everything going on in the world, we need some uh, relaxation and some fun, so that's what we're going to do, and I'm going to be playing with a lot of fun stuff. Um, Actually, let me tell you, it's going to be different than normal. I'm not going to play with a planner, not with a sidekick, not with a big planner. I'm not going to do art journaling. Um, I'm not going to play with the cuties from Yoset. No, what I'm actually going to do is um, stamping. Yes, I'm going to be playing with stamps. As you may or may not know, when I started uh, this whole career of uh, card or of, of inspiration for cards that I started my YouTube channel, I made cards. That was it. Then Esther infected me with the planner uh, virus, which is a whole different story. But making cards is my uh, still something that I really, really love to do. Um, and so tonight I'm going to make two cards for you. Well, depending on the time and depending on how long I'm going to chat to you guys, I'm going to be making two cards and I'm going to be stamping, but with a twist. Uh, because one thing that I really like is how finding ways how to achieve different things uh, with your stamps, with your craft stash in a way, extending the things you have and using them in a different way. So that's what we're going to be doing tonight. Now, this is actually um, finger painting. Well, if you look at my fingers, now they're clean, but later on, I promise you, Belinda, they will not be. Um, uh, no, Yona, I'm not going to bake a cake. That's going to be Daniel who's going to be doing that. Um, yeah, don't forget to like, comment and share to win the gift certificate. That's important. And also because why did I choose stamping tonight? It's simply because um, it's craft month, international craft month, something like that. And you get 15% discount on all stamps on Elizabeth Craft Designs. So I thought, well, then I might as well use stamps. So that's why. Um, I saw a lot of people coming in again. Um, Odraatje, yay, card making, good. Ruth Snow, oh, it's beautiful weather here in the Netherlands, so um, you can keep, keep the snow there. Hi, Jane, hello, I saw Joseph, I saw Sir Stempelot. Um, there are a lot of people here. So without any further ado, let's switch cameras and go to my work uh, station so we can actually see what I'm going to be doing. Um, and I'm going to have the little camera in the top here. So uh, yeah, uh, you can still see me. Um, yeah. And if you don't want to see me, just don't look at me. Simple as that. Right. Um, I'm going to start. I'm going to be using these shimmer powders. And I might be doing some techniques that you guys already uh, know for years. For me, they were new. I I've been experimenting and I love how this turns out. And I think you're going to love it as well. So I'm going to be playing with those. I'm going to be using all sorts of um, Elizabeth Craft Designs dies, border dies, stamps. This is actually a stamp from the Planner Essentials collection. Um, and I'm going to be using the Happy Birthday, the little one here. Uh, and I'm going to be using this beautiful mindfulness stamp set. Um, and I'm going to use the two flowers. So uh, let's get started. Kelly, if you don't know me, my name is David and I'm a member of the design team for the Planner Collection uh, since January this year. Um, so that's me. I'm David from the Netherlands and uh, I'm doing the live today for, Liz for Elizabeth Craft Designs just because Else is very busy preparing all sorts of new releases that are coming up. So that's uh, going to be fun. Um, I'm hidden behind a... I don't know what you mean. Uh, anyway, we're going to play with this beautiful stamp set and I love it. I'm not going to use the dies. I'm just going to use the 
Come on. It's stuck. Why is it stuck? Oh, there we go. I'm just going to use the stamps today. So I'm going to put the dies to the side. Just put them over there. And I'm going to be using these beauties. So I'm going to take them out. And I've got two little stamp thingies here. Acrylic blocks. And I'm going to put my stamps on there. And this is going to be so much fun. It's going to be like magic happening. Shimmer powders are, they are like magic. And this technique that I'm doing today, I, my mind was blown because I'm going to stamp with them. I don't know if you've ever done that before. For me, it was a new thing. And I really like to stretch the, the, the tools I have. Right. What I have here is a piece of uh, soft finish cardstock uh, that I'm going to be using. And I need a scrap piece of paper. And I need to position this so that it's in frame. There we go. So I'm going to stamp on here and I'm going to put my powders on here. Let me have a look at the comments. Thank you, Belinda. Yeah, and Annie, those hummingbirds are also beautiful. Right, let's go. Um, now, I've got the Nouveau Shimmer Powders. I know there are a lot of other brands uh, on the market that have the same type of product. So it doesn't have to be Nouveau. It can actually uh, be any other uh, brand of powder that does the same. It's water activated. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to dump this powder on here. And a little bit goes a long way. But I'm just going to put this on there. And I've got Cherry Bomb and I've got Violet Brocade here. I'm just going to mix those together. And then I need my Versamark. Any embossing ink will do. Any sticky ink. I just like to use Versamark, but uh, any embossing ink will do. And I'm just going to ink this stamp up with the clear embossing ink. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp with the powders. So I'm going to press this into my powders on different angles so that it really picks up on all these beautiful fine details that are in this die. So I've got the powders on there and you, you can hardly see them. But next I'm going to take my water bottle and I'm going to spritz off camera because otherwise my iPad is over there, my computer is over there. Uh, cameras over there, so all this electronic electronic uh, stuff, I'm going to spray it that way. So, just two, three mists, and then you can see it's already getting activated. And then I'm going to take my piece of paper, and I'm going to press this on there. Just like a normal stamp. And give it some time to adhere to the paper. Don't be too quick. Just give it some time to let it sink into the paper. And then lift off. Now, look at that. Stamped with the powders. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe this off. Just with a cloth. I'm going to put some powders down again. And repeat. I'm pretty sure it's not new um, and that you've seen it before, but I just loved it. I love this technique. And I will speed it up a bit because otherwise it'll be very boring. But uh, okay, that's on there. Bit of water. I'm gonna turn my card around and come in from this side. Okay. And press and let it sink into the paper. Give it some pressure and lift. Look at that. Perfectly stamped. I don't know if you can see the different 
colors that are on there. It's absolutely stunning. Um, okay, clean off again. Just give it a spritz of water. Ink it up with the first mark again. Put some powders down again. So it's like rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, but it, the result will be so much fun. And do it again. Dip it in there. Take some water, three spritzes, and stamp again. Coming in from this side, squeezing it in between. There we go, and press. Uh, so a stamp lot, this will work with any of these powders that have the same technique. So don't worry. If you have these kind of powders, you can use them. As long as they're water activated. Uh, I've seen other brands. I just have the Nouveau. Thank you, guys. Well, that's what I was me thinking about. Okay, I want to do something different. Um, it's uh, uh, what you can do with your stamps, because we have the stamps. And you can do this obviously with any stamp you have. Uh, I've got a video coming up. Um, well, let me show you. I will just do a sneak peek. Sorry, you were looking at my butt. Um, this card I made with the same technique. I used the Tim Holtz stamp for the background and then this beautiful Easter basket on top of it, used with the same technique. So you can really stretch your, your supplies with this. Right, where was I? I was cleaning this off, inking it up again. Put down some powders. And this is just the first technique because I'm going to share another fun technique with stamping in a different way um, later on. So I better get a wiggle on. Ah, oh, we're, we're, we're good time wise. It's, it's not even quarter past. Okay, and dip it in again. I'm gonna put this one right here, like so, and press it down. I forgot to spray it with water. Then it doesn't work. But now you see the magic, I've pressed it down Nothing happened. And now I sprayed it with water and you will see it is a beautiful, beautiful stamp. Yeah, it actually sparkles. You don't see that on camera, unfortunately, but it is really sparkly and shiny. These powders are like magic. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Right, next I'm gonna take my smaller stamp and I'm just gonna fill in some gaps. There are not many gaps, but I will just add in a tiny bit more. I'll just pick up some of the bits that are on my scrap piece of paper. Spray it with water. And just fill in some blank spots. go and here is a blank spot and here's another one and then I'm gonna have a look at your comments now you don't have to heat set this I will dry it in a second because I want to get uh, go on to the next step so there we go. That's on there. Now for the people that don't know the shimmer powders, you see a blank piece of paper here. This is just a 
thin piece of uh, copy paper so that will not stay anything. Well, I will not use it, probably. Maybe I will. But look at the magic happening when you spray this with water. I love these powders. They are absolutely amazing. Look at that. Right, I'm going to put this to the side. We don't need that. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to lightly mist this with water. I just want to activate these powders a little bit more. Once it's dry, it's on there. There we go. Just three spritzes of water and you can see the flowers come to life already. And then I'm going to quickly dry this because I don't want it to run too far. But you see, with just a spritz of water, it already came alive even more. Hi, everybody. Good to see you. For the people that came in late, I'm playing with stamps, but in a different way. So now I've stamped using uh, the shimmer powders from Nuvo. Okay. I put my heat tool away. Let me clean up my mess because I know myself this will be a complete nightmare and I will smudge everything everywhere. And my card will not be a nice card. Here, I told you I wouldn't have clean fingers long, do you see? <laughs> Belinda already said it. Right, so this is already a beautiful card base in itself, card front, right? Uh, nothing, uh, you don't have to do anything to it, but I will, because, well, it's me. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take out three sizes of these. One, two, and three. These, this is the uh, fitted intended rectangle number 1695. Uh, very nice to have in your stash. Very versatile. You can do a lot of things with it. Um, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to position this on here. See what uh, parts I like and what parts I don't like. I think like this. And then I'm going to cut this all together. So I'm going to put three dice on this piece of cardstock. And this is what I always like to do. I like to make a bigger card panel so I can pick and choose the pieces that I uh, like. And I think I might just move over a bit. Yeah, that's better. Then I get a piece of low-tech tape. Put that on my hand to make it even more low-tech. It's funny, I don't have any hairs left now it's stuck really well. <laughs> I don't have any hairs left here because I always put the low-tech tape there um, to make it less tacky. And let me see. Um, I need to position this really well. Make sure it's lined up correctly. I don't know what triple stamp is, but if you mean that I'm going to make three panels out of this, the answer is yes. Line this up, just eyeballing it. There we go. And there we go. So I'm going to put this through my die cut machine. And I am a happy, happy man because today I finally got my Sissix switch. And I love it. So that's going through my die cut machine now. Oh, I know I can stick it to my jeans first, but um, why stick it to my jeans if I can use it to peel off the... Come on. There we go. I don't need to wax my hand anymore. Right. So, die cut pieces. This is also nice if you want to do a bit of mess card making because you only have to tape these together once um, and you can continue on to the next one. 
Okay, put these to the side. Then I've got my card base. I've got a black card layer that again, I've cut out of another piece. Actually, think that I can, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me see if I can cut another piece. No. Okay, I made a little mistake. I'll show you in a minute, um, but I'll fix that. I'll make it into a beautiful card anyway. Um, I'm gonna stamp my sentiment on the middle piece. I'll put that right here in my Misty and get my stamp out and stamp this small happy birthday from this stamp set. And that is the CS163 Pieces of Life 4. And I like this because there's a happy birthday in there. And it's not too big, so that's going to be on my center. And I'm going to take my Versafine. Hi, else. Oh yeah, it's a perfect hands-free. go and press this is why I love my stem positioner because I can never get it right in the first go so I can ink it up again and press it down again perfect now we've got a nice happy birthday there put my misty to the side then I'm gonna take my big roll. Well, it's not as big anymore, it's shrinking now. Um, but I'm gonna take a piece of tape. Fold that piece in half. So I have a double layer of tape. And then I'm gonna cut this into a smaller strip. So I've got a double layer of tape. Then I'm going to take um, my outer piece because that will get uh, a double layer and trim this down. It fits on there. So the outer layer will get a double layer of tape. Tweezers, that will help. And how are you guys doing? I'm sorry, I'm concentrating. <laughs> there we go. That's that. I'm gonna cut this piece in half as well because I don't need this to be so wide. Quite narrow. Yes, it's scotch uh, foam tape. It used to be a roll that was this big, but it's a bit smaller now because I've used quite a lot of it, which is a good sign, right? That's why we, we need to use what we have. Okay, that's the first one done. Now the second layer, this one, gets 
one layer of tape. What are you making, Ivona? You're crafting along. Ah, I screwed this up. Okay. Um, you're crafting along with me. I love that. Yeah, especially for cutting this kind of stuff. Um, it makes all the difference. I need to make this a bit less wide. Nothing sticks to them. I love my Tim Holtz scissors and I love the Elizabeth Craft Design scissors. Um, but for cutting this, yeah, you need uh, something like this. Hi, Maria. Goedenavond. So that's on there. Trying to go as quick as I can, guys, but this takes time. Putting on tape. Just need to cut this a tiny bit smaller. So who has already benefited from the sales that's going on with the 15% discount on stamps? There we go. This can go to the side for now. Peel off this tape. And then we can start to assemble. What are you guys saying? Well, that's, uh, you're right, Ruli. And this, that was also a bit of my point, yes. If you don't have stamps and you want new stamps, now is the time to get them with the 15% discount. But also this the point was to, to stretch the supplies we already have um, and to use our stamps in a different way. Right, so let me get this card together. So I will put the first frame on. Then the bigger frame will go around that. So I'm going to peel off the backing. This stuff doesn't want to come off today. Here we go. Oh, you love the switch. And uh, Sylvia, the new release, it's gonna be absolutely stunning. I'm not gonna show you anything. Um, I can't show you any samples because I've sent all my samples to Els and Esther, so I don't have anything left. But uh, yeah, it's absolutely stunning. So let's put this tiny bit if it's playing out. So what I'm doing, I've put on that second, the first layer, the biggest one. I'm going to press that down. So what's happened is that gives us dimension. This is bugging me. And if it's bugging me, it's got to go. There we go. It's giving a dimension. Two layers on the first layer, one layer on the... Uh, second layer, and then this layer is going to be flat. So I'm just going to put some Elizabeth Craft Designs tape behind that. And stick it on there. And since our um, sentiment is already stamped on there, the card is nearly done. I'll slide that in there. 
press it down. And what you get is a beautiful three-dimensional card. Now, I made a mistake. I should have uh, used the bigger size out and skip one. But I made it, I've tested it out before, and this is the example I made. So this is how it should have looked. <laughs> um, this is uh, uh, how it was intended, um, but I've made a small mistake there. But anyway, this is this can be fun as well. So what you do in the end, you put this on a card base and you're done. It's a beautiful technique, especially stamping with these powders gives you a really, really nice effect. Uh, and doing it this way, die cutting it out and building it up, it makes it really three dimensional and you get a fun card. So, but this is, the end result. Let's uh, do a cheat. Um, my magic box is here again. So this is how it comes out. Right. That was the first one. Now let me have a look at your comments. Yeah. Friday the 11th is going to be the release. Esther is going to go live on the Elizabeth Craft Designs and Else is going to go live on... Oshanda, or whatever it's called now. Um, so that's the new release, and it's going to be absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Cheers. I'm going to make some room for my next project. because that's also gonna be fun. So I've got everything I need right here. So I have prepared this already, of course. This is all we're gonna need. Um, create and craft. Thank you, Tracy. <laughs> that name has changed so many times and I've heard so many names about it that I don't know how to call it. If you hear the, heard a beep, that's correct, because I had to switch on my um, laminator. Because for the next technique, you need a laminator. And I think we crafters, we nearly all have a laminator in our craft room, whether it's uh, for uh, um, laminating paper, what it's intended to, or for foiling or whatever. Um, so I'm going to use uh, some foil. I'm going to use embossing. And I've got three panels and I've cut these out up front. So I can't make a mistake with the size. Shh, don't tell anyone. And I've cut that out using the 1701 stitched rounded rectangles. It's all these different sizes with different stitching on there. So I've cut my panels out already. And I've got one white base layer. I've got a blue layer and a black layer. I, I love working with black matte layers. So, um, there's going to be a jeans planner. It's hot. There's going to be a jeans planner uh, that's coming out as well. So um, that's what I'm going to be making a card of. So I'm going to use first my black piece. I'm going to put that down. And I'm going to use this beautiful blossom set. And again, I'm only going to use the stamp set for that. Put this to the side. I need this later on. So I'll put that here. And I'm going to use this stamp. This one. And I need my acrylic block. Put this on there. And again, I'm going to ink this up with Versamark. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to fill this whole panel up with my flowers. And before I do that, I need my embossing powder, well, the magic stuff. I don't want this stuff to stick everywhere. So there we go. Oh, the jeans planner is really going to be fun. It will actually match this color really nicely, but okay. Yeah, it's a beautiful 
planner page or beautiful planner with beautiful uh, pocket up in the front right so i'm gonna put this stamp right on there stamp it up again i love the beautiful bloom so have i said that already um i think it's 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 one of my favorite collections um i, I really 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 adore them um they stamp beautifully the matching die set cuts easy they're easy to line up sorry i'm going to use a black card um matte layer so the blue layer is going to be on the black layer so i'm just building up this card or this panel stamping this beautiful flower all over we go i'm trying to keep up with all your comments but uh, you're chatting a lot If I like something, then I can sell it. No problem. But then I have to like it. If I don't like it, I don't want to sell it. Last one on this corner. There we go. Done. So this is all stamped up now. Now I'm going to, I'm going to put this to the side. I'll clean that up later. I'll have a wrong scrap piece of paper. I've got my scrap piece of paper here. And I'm going to put my clear embossing powder on here. I'm not using the super fine detail. That is for a reason. Because normally I would. But in this case, I'm not. Because uh, I want it to be slightly thicker on there. So I'm just putting it on there. Making sure everything has a good layer. Tap off the axis. There we go. So that's ready to be heat set or melted or whatever you call it. I think it's melting because it's plastic, right? Put this back because I know myself if I don't put it back, gonna be a mess and my room is messy enough as it is so I'm gonna take out my heat tool and sorry I'm gonna make some noise but I'm gonna melt this Switch hands, David. Don't burn your hands. Okay, this is all melted. Okay, next, I'm gonna take a piece of uh, foil. Now this is heat activated foil. This is by Crafts and Go. You've got many different brands. I'm sure uh, your favorite craft store will sell it. Um, it's as long as it's used for a laminator or can be used with glue or anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a piece off. And 
and I'm always confused. I have to put it on this way, I think. Here we go again. I'm always confused. No, it's got to go the other way around, David. Here we go. I'm going to put this on. It's already a beautiful background, but it's going to be even more beautiful. Because what will happen, I've got just a piece of thin copy paper here. I'm going to put my card front in there. Make sure everything is flat. There we go. Fold this in half. And then I will put it through my laminator. And what this will do... I have to wait one second because I had it on the wrong setting. Uh, but what this will do, it will remelt the embossing powder. And because I'm remelting that embossing powder, it becomes sticky and it will uh, stick to the foil. So that's the whole idea. Shiny side up. Wait, is it still wrong? I've got a heat plate as well, and it's different way around. But the comments are so behind that I'm not sure what you're saying now. I'm just going to try it. If it doesn't work, we can always turn it around, right? But that's the thing with the... the uh, I've got a heat plate and I've got this, and it's both works in a different way and I'm always confused. Yeah, it's a heat foil. Um, you've got many different brands. So it's gone through my laminator now. I think. Yeah. Is it turning? Yeah. I'm going to put it through one more time. And then it should be fine. Um, but yeah, you've got many different brands. It's it's to use with uh, um, with pens and with uh, this is from Scrap and Co. But you've got many. You've got Deco Foil. Um, yeah, there are many different brands on the market. Thank you, Sir Stamplot. That's what I thought. Um, good. I'm gonna take this out and then look at this. This is now oh, the foil is off there and I'm not going to throw this away. I will find a way to use this because this is also nice. You can turn off, but look at that. I don't know if you can pick it up, but the shine on this is absolutely gorgeous. Now the foil has sticked to the um, embossing powder. So that's good. So that's with the laminate. That's laminated. That's done. Now I want to do something on this piece. And I'm going to take... Here it is. I'm going to use from this uh, collection. It's the 1625 Adventure Edges 2. I'm going to use this wavy thing with the stitched on stitching on it. Or at least that's what it looks like. And I'm going to put that on here. Like... Take some tape, put that on my hand, slightly more like that, like this, and I'm going to put this through my die cut machine. That will be a quick one because it's only a small piece. And there it goes. Then I'm gonna stamp on that using this big happy birthday stamp from the Weekly Thoughts collection. It's the CS254. I'm gonna use that to stamp on here. And again, this is the um, soft finish cardstock. 
So, beautiful paper, but I'm gonna use my stamp positioner on this because I know otherwise I will mess it up. Put that there, put this back. Take my Misty. And see where I want to position that. And this is a the opposite of the one I used before, because this is a big and chunky happy birthday. But I like that on this card. So I'm going to put that, put it the right way around, David. I'm going to put that on here. Like this. Put my magnet right there. And then I'm going to stamp this up using my Persefine. No, where is it? I just used it. There it is. Persefine in Black Onyx. Ink that up really well. Make sure this is in the corner. And press it down. Now, the soft finish cardstock has a bit of a structure to it. So when you stamp, you probably have to do it multiple times. But also give it some time to take the ink. Well, uh, I'm trying to be organized. Um, but I'm actually, we're going to rebuild my craft room in, in a different way. I'll do a craft room too when that's done. I will just do a second time, push this back in the corner and press down again. This is a mini Misty. I've also got the big one, but for these little stamps, I like the mini Misty. There we go. That's good enough for me. Next, I'm going to take... Um, this one, and I'm going to put that right over here. Let me clean this off. I'm losing everything, so I'm not that organized, Sue. You see? But when closing in on the end, Back, the magnet on. And ink it up. There we go. What I'm rubbing, it's just a piece of cloth. Uh, it's actually a kitchen cloth. How do you call that? Vaterdoek in Dutch. What is a gray thingy? Oh, this one. It's actually a stamp, uh, an easy to glide. This for the Dutch people. Uh, Marloes sells these from Duoding, but you can see them. You see them on every craft website now. It's uh, to put even pressure on your stamp when you're using uh, a stamp positioner. There we go. Perfect in one go. Put this to the side because I want to move a bit quicker. And take my... Where's my scrap piece of paper? I'll take this one. Doesn't matter. And I'm going to put some embossing powder on that because I want the shine to come back. Um, the shine that's on there already from the embossing powder. And since this is done with pigment ink, it will actually... Um, stay wet quite long so we can go ahead and heat set this just taking a small brush small angle brush to take away the heat embossing powder where I don't want it there we go Quickly heat set this, and then we can assemble the card.
So I'm going to melt this powder. Okay, and now it's time to assemble our card. But before we do that, I want to place one last stamp, and that is on the inside, because we can also use our stamps on the inside of a card, right? If I can find my stamps, that is. Where did I, oh, I put it next to me because I knew I was going to need it. So I'm going to take the big stamp from this collection. So we've used quite a lot of them. Take the big stamp. And with the big stamp comes my big misty because I need to do that. Now in my big misty, I have um, sticky grid from Sysx. Sysx. That uh, will help me to keep my paper, uh, position my paper where I want it. And I'll just put the magnet here. And then I will position my flower in the corner here of my card base. And this is going to be for the inside. And I'm going to use my Versafine Claire in Blue Bell. Beautiful matching color to the front. Ink up my stamp. And press that down using my easy to glide thingy. It looks like a curling thingy. And what I actually have, let me show you. I have this, this is an air hockey thing that you use on the table. The only downside is, and that's why I bought this one. If you use this one, the pressure is at the front. It's not in the middle. And that's not, not ideal. Uh, and with this one, it is in the middle. So that's that. Take off my card, put this back, and I will clean everything up when I'm done because I quickly want to heat set this so it doesn't smudge everywhere. It does make a lot of difference. Uh, it does, Tracy. Yeah, ice hockey puck or Right, so this is the, the inside. Okay, that's done. Now we can assemble our card. So, the first layer is this one. Next, I'm gonna take my tape. I'm gonna put that along here. I want to give this some dimension, so this is gonna be Oops, on there, there we go. And I'm gonna take off the backing. These tweezers are so handy. If I remember to use them, there we go. Makes life a lot easier. Okay, let me see. I want to position this right here at the top. There we go. And then I'm going to put this panel on my black base card. I'm going to do that using the Elizabeth Craft Designs double sided adhesive. Well, that's what I was thinking, Ruli. And normally I forget about the inside as well. Um, but then I thought, why not? Especially if you have a bigger card, you still have room enough to um, yeah, write your, you write your text, etc. So that's why I wanted to do that. And these stamps are perfect for that. Thank you, Arik. Here we 
just gonna put this on here. So I hope you like this. Um, it's something else. You see me do planners and well, last week I did a card, but that was with the planner set. Um, but I just wanted to share some different techniques that were new to me. I'm pretty sure that were not new to you uh, or to all of you, but uh, um, yeah, I just love finding out new things and uh, giving it a go. Easy to glide. The little one, the stemple hulk was the Misty, Mini Misty, and the uh, great thing is the easy to glide. Okay, now I have to line this up correctly, which always is easy when the camera is not rolling. When the camera is on, Ah, it's good. It's good. And then I'm going to put some big foam on my black layer to give it some dimension again. And then the card is already done. This goes quickly. But I hope I managed to inspire you guys. Um, to use your stamps in a different way. Because that was the whole idea um, of this video. And these beautiful blooms are just perfect for that. Now, I'm going to put some glue on my double-sided tape. Because I've come this far, I don't want to ruin it. And because if I put some glue behind here, that will give me some wiggle time before I fully commit to put the card on there. So um, I don't want to ruin it at this stage. The black one I used is from Ranger. It's the heat it tool, and it's actually not used for embossing. It's more for drying your paint or drying your inks. Sorry if my head is in the way, I just have to. There we go. Um, so the, let me show you the difference. The temperature of these two is exactly the same. They're both the same temperature, but the nozzle of this one is a lot wider than this one. So the heat is far more concentrated on this one. That's why this one is better for melting your embossing powder. And this one is uh, for drying and heat setting. Right, so this is the finished card for today. And this was the first one. So stamping in a different way, um, using powders and putting it through a laminator and giving it some boiling shine. So uh, that was it for today, guys. Thank you for joining me. Um, and thank you for uh, spending your Wednesday evening with me. Um, it was a fun evening. Thank you. And uh, don't forget, you still have got 30 seconds left to like, share and comment if you haven't done so yet. Uh, and remember that there's a sale on the stamps. Thank you very much for joining me tonight. It was a blast for me. 